welcome back to my channel my name is Halima if you're new to my channel welcome and basically today I'm going to do a flawless glam makeup look okay so I'm gonna mix fainting yeah my pro filter fainting this color is a bit dark for me to be fair so when I put this color on my face re looks this difference between my face and my neck okay when I bought this, I bought it um, during the lockdown and I bought it through the website. So I find it to be a bit dark for me. This is the 3885 um, foundation pro filter. So what I'm, what I'm going to do today is basically mix this foundation, the Fencing Pro foundation with um, L'Oreal True Match. This is slightly lighter for me, and I love this foundation. I've been using this for many years. It's my favorite, okay? So both are my favorite, actually. So I'm gonna mix this with Fenting Pro Filter foundation. I'm gonna mix them together to see what kind of um, look I'm gonna achieve with this. But I'm aiming for like a very flawless, um, like a glam, um, you know, look yeah so let's go ahead and prep the skin so my preparation for my makeup is so very versatile like to get a very flawless look you need the prep to be perfect okay so what i normally tend to do when i'm gonna prep my skin is to use um my spf girls boys you need your spf regardless whether you're in the sun you're at home wherever you are you need your spf spf is very essential if you don't have anything else in your skincare or makeup package you definitely need to get your hands on spf so this spf that i'm using now is la ruchi pose it's my favorite and it's sps 50. i wear the highest because i want my skin to be protected Okay, so I'll bring it closer to you guys. An important part of this SPF that I love so much that it doesn't sting the eye at all. It doesn't sting like some of the um, SPF that I use. When you brown the eye area, it sting like mine. And it makes my eyes watery. My eyes are very sensitive. But these, they do not sting the eye. So this is my favorite. Buy it from Boots. I think it's about £18 um, from Boots, you know. So yeah, definitely, I'm going to leave the link of where you can ob obtain this um, SPF, guys. So, first of all, I'm going to shake it. It's got like a little dye inside it. So when you shake, you can actually hear it um, floating around. And it comes like this, really, but it's, it's amazing. So I'm going to rub it and I'm going to put it onto my face. Protect my, protect my skin. Yeah. It's essential that you protect the skin regardless of what, what weather we are in whether it's summer or whatever it is wearing spf not only that you protect your skin from the uva and all this stuff but it also it prevents for wrinkles so yeah definitely and like uh, discolorations and all this uh, pigmentation and stuff like that and always make sure you spread that around your neck don't forget your neck area okay guys so this is on okay so, so i'm gonna use a primer to prime my skin so basically it depends on where i'm going if i'm going somewhere and i'm in hurry i'll just use my spf and then slap on some foundation and that's it but because i want a very very soft base and flawless look i aim to you know use the primer. so i'm using this fenting uh, pro filter primer um and it's, I have an oily skin, so this is specifically for oily skin, but they have one for like dry skin and stuff like that. So I take a bit like that, that amount, um, and this basically work into my skin. So, like I stated initially, what I was aiming to do is basically mix this, my Pro Filter Foundation, with Too Much L'Oreal. Okay, because one is darker than this, 
So this is a base, like a reddish, not reddish I should say, but dark tone to this one. And so my color for this one is, like I said, it was 385 and this was caramel golden toffee this is the color too much l'oreal so basically what i'm gonna do is um oh, i don't have a tray i should have got this makeup tray to mix it all together in. so i'll just use the back of my hand and so i'll just squeeze a drop of the too much l'oreal too much and then i'm gonna take the fenty pro filter and i'm gonna put two drops of that in there and all I'm going to do, I'm going to use my finger to mix it. Um, I've got this makeup tray mix um, products, but I don't know where it is for some reason. So um, I've got this color. I'll show you guys what I've got in a bit. So this is what I've got. Hopefully this should be able to match my tone. Um, because I think my undertone is like a golden, like a medium golden kind of caramel uh, undertone. So sometimes I find it, especially, I find it hard to find my skin tone specifically for foundation. Um, so yeah, I've mixed it up, D200 Real Techniques. And I'm going to dump it in there and I'm going to work it onto my skin. I think this colour is actually okay. Yeah, it's not too dark, it's just the right. The right tone for my skin. And I like this actually. I like this tone. So yeah, mixing high end and the drugstore high end foundation with a drugstore foundation. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> So my next step is um, I'm going to do the highlights and then move on to the contour. I'll do my eyebrow later. I usually do my eyebrow before I do anything, but I'm gonna, I just want to give it um, just a different vibe, you know. Um, so I'm going to put this um, concealer. So this concealer is Maybelline then, um, Age Anti-Age Eraser. So it's a multi-purpose um, concealer. I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this concealer, so I wanted to give it a try and see what um, all the hype is all about. So the color that I bought for these is, what color is this one actually? Sand 07. So the camera, I guess you guys can see what it is. So I just basically twist a little bit, get some out, and I'm just gonna use it to do the highlights and so on and so forth, okay? So I'm gonna use my um, this little mirror to do the co uh, concealer. So I'm just gonna spread some around, um, my underneath my eye i'm really i really like um a very strong kind of like highlights um so i've seen this um being used several times by some youtubers so like i said I wanted to give it a try. I bought it from Boots. Um, I'll leave the link um, so you guys can check it out yourself. I'm gonna use the brush to blend that in. Okay, before I use the beauty blender to minimize, um, to get rid of any harsh line. So I'll just use that to blend it in. So I've got my beauty blender. I'm just gonna sweat it slightly with, um, just dump it slightly with, um, you know, a normal finishing spray, just to spray it onto it, just to wet it slightly. Once it's wet, I'm just gonna use that to, um, you know, blend it in perfectly, and then um, we get going, guys. So it's slightly wet, my beauty blender, and just gonna. Work that in. So guys, I'm now going to 
Judah contour. So the contour I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Superstay contour. I've had this quite a long time and I think it's almost about to finish. <laughs> I need to get a new one. So I'm just going to take a little tiny brush with the Kev end and I'm just going to take a bit of the contour and um, yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one. I've had it for quite a while now. It's got a, a brush at the end but I don't tend to like using it so I'm going to take my mirror and I'm just going to work around my nose area just need to be very careful I don't mess up this part I'm just going to use this brush to get the concealer down on my forehead put down because that's where the, I want the highlights to be to mimic my forehead, my airline Just finishing off the contour part, um, just blending the contour on my chin area. The aim of it is to push it down to mimic your jawline and then um, use the brush to do the lips to mimic, um, you know, to plump my lips up a little bit and just finish the the edges of my forehead guys in order to do my eyebrow um i'm gonna use this eyebrow gel uh, it's this color and i got it from my company i got it from the internet some part of the internet i don't even know where i got it from but i think i got it from one of these chinese website and so i'm just using this um bra brush So the aim of it is to brush it up, as you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to take this um, brush and I am going to basically take a drop of it like this, you know, sponge a little bit into the, into the brush. And then I'm going to use it to define you know, to just a gentle stroke. Just a gentle stroke, guys. So guys, um, I'm going to take this Pro Filter Concealer and just sponge a little bit onto this flat end brush. As like so. Start with the top first. Okay, so something like that. And then moving on to the next one, like so. It's all about now, I'm going to bake. Okay, so I'm going to find my bake and we will head towards baking. Okay, so I'm going to take a trans translucent powder. So it's, this translucent powder is called SBC. Okay, I've used that before in one of my initial videos that I did. So I'm going to take the translucent, this is the color of it. And I am going to take my beauty blend actually used. And I'm going to tap a little bit in there to my translucent powder and I'm gonna go around here and press on gently until it firmly gently sticks in place just look in my mirror down here I really like this translucent powder it works so perfectly when you put it on it blend 
so gently into the skin you know it doesn't leave any cake or thing like that it just so beautifully blends gently into the skin it's like and i'm just gently going to use that to work in starting from the chin and i'll just do my under eye blend that in nicely and do this side as well then here it's a fainting honey uh, powder good i love this powder it's a honey color so i get some at the top there oh my god it's too much literally just dusted too much in there oh my god so what I do is basically use that oh it smells beautiful guys this honey powder it smells like heaven so beautiful just you know guys what i did when i i turn it upside down i've got too much you guys can see it's really bad i don't know how i'm gonna get rid of this but i'm not gonna waste it because this powder is just too expensive to waste it guys so once i've put the powder on the fainting powder um honey i'm gonna use this spray it's like a refreshing spray finishing spray I spray all over my face like this and let that sink in beautifully so my next basically i'm gonna do eyeshadow and i'm gonna use my bronzer to create a nice um contour to finish the look so far this look is looking this face is looking how i want it to be flawless it's looking flawless darling it's looking beautiful you know <laughs> just the way i way i want it to be sorry i've got a bit of um, makeup in my um top so. okay so now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow so the eyeshadow that i'm going to be using is basically from this palette and it's like it's called slick makeup if i bring it closer for you guys to see it like so it's got some beautiful nude i've not used it i just bought it and i bought it from boots it's got quite a few nice um nude colors that i want to try because um the aim of this look is to have a flawless uh, shin slash and natural um you know presentation as well so I'm just going to take this fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take um I'm going to take this new right down here this one and I'm just going to work it around my eyelid Yeah Yeah, so it's coming along nicely as you guys can see. Of my eyelid. Because that's the essence of the look, just to make sure I present it in a nice new way. So the eyeshadow that I was using, I put a neutral color and um, as you guys can see, and I'll just work a bit around my waterline, not too much, just a bit of a bit dragging it down. Like so. okay so what i'm gonna now do i'm gonna take a dark brown at the edge and i am going to use that on the outer line down here just to give me that on the edge there guys as you, as you guys can see i really like this um, palette makeup palette from sleek makeup Yeah. 
like so it looks quite radiant So guys, I'm just going to take a bit of the eyeshadow and use that to work underneath my waterline. Not much, just a little bit, a little tiny, just to blend everything in perfectly. So just using this detail um, brush. Okay, so I am happy with this. So I'm happy with the look so far, guys. Yeah, it's looking very sleek. So my next task is going to be, I'm going to take a bit of a gold, um, gold, like a shimmery color. I'm going to take this and just use it to get my eye bone you know the eyeshadow area lift up my eyebrow and i'm going to use a little tiny amount in my inner inner corner of my eye yeah to finish the look basically so we start from the top just a little tiny just to get that eyebrow lifting up a little bit you guys can see the differences and do the same here. Okay guys, so once I've, I've done finishing the eyebrow area, I'm going to take the same gold and I'm going to use that to, basically I'm going to mix this to the lightest shade with a darker shade in my inner corner. So I'm just going to put a bit around here just to lift up my eye to open it up because I've got a very daisy kind of eye lid so yeah so you can see the differences so we just a little out in in the corner yeah i love it i like this look it's very nice so I'm now going to do my lips and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this um, Mary Kay um, pen and um, it's, it's called um, Cappuccino so that's what I'm going to use for my lips so I'm just going to draw the line I've got a big lip so uh, try not to overdo it lip gloss by silk makeup i'm just going to use that all over my lips i've put my um matte me nude um my lips lip gloss i'm just going to use this fenting sweet mouth um lip gloss just to give it a bit of a you know a glossy look I am going to take this bronze glow by Revolution and it says bronze as you guys can see I'm going to use a little bit of that to create a contour um, so I'm taking this brush and I'm just this is very concentrated so this is medium color Revolution glow it's very very concentrated so I'm very careful when I'm using this so I'm just a little bit of mom just taking this flat brush and because I want to create that contour line and um, so I'll just take a little tiny from here from the, you know this end of my ears and then work it down to somewhere around here you know just not too far to my lips and like a gentle movement aiming kind of brushing it up because I want that line You can see it's coming along nicely. So 
having that shadow really creates a very great definition face on the sort of definition and it has the makeup okay don't want to overdo it and just basically take a big um you know fluffy brush and just blend the edges so you don't get anything harsh like a harsh line so just blend the edges like this everything is well blended okay guys i'm happy with this look and the next thing i'm going to do now is take a bit of my powder a fainty honey pot. I'm happy with this, guys. And so now I'm going to take my highlighter by Fancy Beauty. It is the kilowatts, and it's got a ginger. It's that those colors, and it's got tea, as you guys can see. I'm going to take um, a different sort of a brush. Actually, you know what? I will use. Okay, I use my fan. Okay, and I'm just going to take uh, that. The one thing about this um, Kilo Wax uh, highlight is multitask because you can use it for multi-purpose. You can use it for everything. So your eyebrow. I so say your eyebrow, your eyeshadow, as a lighter. You just use various of things you can use it for. So I'm just going to work a bit around my cheekbone. Just pop my cheekbone up. Give me that, you know, glossy, beautiful, radiant look. Pro filter spray and just spray all over my face so i'm going to use this um mink lashes um for my lashes and um this is um zero one for this from one of those chinese website so that's what i'm going to use okay and i okay, so i have done with my flawless um nude kind of um detailed look I hope you guys like this look if you do like it kindly hit subscribe like share my videos among your friends and um i'll see you guys next week take care bye bye